Thank you, Korean Journal of Rajuri de Editorial Office. I'm Yozo Sato from Aichi Cancer Center Hospital, Japan. We would like to talk about pre-operative estimation of future remnant liver function following portal vein embolization using rate of enhancement on gadolinium EOB enhanced MRI. ICG clearance, ICGK, is an important index for estimating post-operative liver failure before hepatectomy. A more reliable index for estimating post-operative liver failure is ICGK of the future remnant liver, FRL, ICGK level. Liver function after PVE is heterogeneous and is caused by the worsening function of the embryo's liver lobe. Because ICGK is measured under the assumption that the uptake liver function is homogeneous in the whole liver, ICGK level might not provide an accurate assessment of FRL function after PVE. The purpose of this study was to evaluate the role of relative enhancement RE, in the hepatobiliary phase on EOB MRI as a preoperative estimate of FRL function in patients who underwent PVE. At the first step, in 53 patients, the correlation between ICGK and RE imaging was analyzed as a preoperative estimate before hepatectomy. At the second step, 23 patients underwent PVE followed by a repeat RE imaging and ICG test before an extended hepatectomy and their results were further analyzed. Post-hepatectomy liver failure, PHLF, was evaluated in patients who underwent PVE. PHLF was defined according to the grading, the grading system of International Study Group of the Liver Surgery. PHLF was characterized by an increased INR and concomitant hyperbilirubinemia. Radical surgery was performed in 19 patients. However, the examination of INR in the perioperative period was not performed in 8 patients. Therefore, PHLF was evaluated in 11 patients. The RE image was acquired using two kinds of liver images pre-contrast enhancement images and hepatobiliary phase images. Whole liver function was calculated, RE multiplied by total liver volume. This value was called the RE index. FRL function was calculated, FRL RE multiplied by FRL volume. This value was called the remnant RE index. ICGK correlated with RE index and ICG-KLM strongly correlated with the remnant RE index. ICG-KLM and the remnant RE index were significantly correlated after PVE. The remnant liver volume, ICG-KLM, and remnant RE index significantly improved from rub before PVE to after PVE and ICGK significantly decreased after PVE. However, no stat statistically significant change was observed in the remnant RE. From the viewpoint of improvement rate, the remnant RE index was significantly higher than that of ICGK rem. The remnant RE index of patient without PHLF was significantly higher than that of patient with PHLF. Also, there was significant difference between patient with and without PHLF with respect to ICG-KLM. However, there were no significant differences between patient without PHLF, grade A patients, and grade B patient with respect to the remnant RE index and ICG KLM. The data was analyzed retrospectively and the sample size was relatively small, especially in patients after radical surgery. So we could not discriminate between patients without PHLF and patients with each grade of PHLF according to the grading system. However, from the viewpoint of the differences between patients 
with and without PHLF, the p-value of the remnant ROE index tended to be better than that of ICG KREM. Therefore, ROE imaging might be useful for predicting the risk of PHLF in patients who undergo PVE. In conclusion, the present study indicated that rate of enhancement on EOB MRI can be used to estimate FRL function in patients who undergo PVE. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.